In this video, we are trying to fix this locked up motor on an Arma 3S vehicle. And we're gonna put in what might be possibly the best brushless upgrade setup that you can do for it. It is the Hobbywing Max 10 G2. So this means is the waterproof censored speed controller along with the 3200 kV 10 scale motor for it. We're putting it in this Arma Typhon 3S because this dude needs his buggy back. Now to get it started, you can see I already have the factory motor started to come out of this thing because honestly, I was already doing troubleshooting for it. So if you have never done this before, you start by taking the one screw from the bottom of the chassis out, pulling this stopper out. You can then collapse the drive shaft. The drive shaft is spring loaded. So you then collapse the drive shaft, pull it out and set it off to the side. And then at that point, uh, this is still attached together. You pull the tab off and the whole motor and ESC unit come apart. Three screws, then take that rear cover off, which gives you access to the whole slipper assembly, pinion gear, and the motor screws. And that catches you up to where we are now. The next step that we need to do for this swap is the two screws here that allow us to take the motor off of this plate. We're gonna pull all the wires out of the harness here. We're going to unmount the ESC, get into the receiver, and unplug all of that. Now we need to get the ESC wire and the fan wire out. So, as you pull everything out of here, ESC should be, the, it actually says throttle on there. It should be channel 2. It actually says throttle, so you can pull that one out. So the fan, it looks like, was actually plugged into auxiliary there. So we have auxiliary throttle steering. So we need to pull all of those out. Now, of course, one thing, we need this receiver plate back. So where I had double-sided taped my old ESC down, we're going to have to pry that off. Then we're going to reuse the same pinion. No reason to change pinion from the factory one. This actually is a D-ring. So we're going to use a small little awl and we're going to come in here and actually pop this D-ring off. We have the motor and ESC. Everything's fully disconnected now. We did make sure to go ahead and re-straighten out this motor mount plate. Those do tend to have, they have a tendency to uh, get bent over time. So now it is time to unbox our fancy dancy hobby ring brushless setup. So let's see. Oh, let's see what we have in here. So in here, this is the Max 2, I mean, sorry, Max 10 G2. This is the brand new setup from Hobbywing. You will notice it actually has a sensor wire attached to it. So just kind of like, you know, a racing setup, but it's a waterproof sensor setup. Uh, it has an XT60 on it. We'll have to change that. I use XT90s on all my things. But this is a 140 amp ESC, which puts that factory 100 amp model to shame. Should be very, very powerful and should have really good control for this buggy. Should really take it to the next level. And then in here, we have the 3200 kV motor. Look at how... Look at how nice that thing looks. I mean, they just did a great job with this can design. Looks really, really nice. Bullets are already on it, so it'll connect to the motor without an issue. And again, the sensor wire connection right there. So we will have very good control. I have not tested one of these yet. I am very excited to get it in and give it a shot. So first thing we're going to do is mount this motor to the motor plate. We're going to get all of that installed back in the buggy. And then we're going to figure out how we're going to get this ESC and its switch and everything mounted up. All right, so the, the factory pinion is able to go right back on this hobby wing motor with no issue whatsoever. Bolt straight up, that is good news. Able to put it back into the exact same place that it was before in the motor mount, so that means we have really good uh, motor mesh here, gear mesh here. So all of that is going well. And get the other plate bolted on here, and we are making some good progress. Whole thing is back together looking really, really nice actually. So it bolted in, and we had a brand new one of these Arma uh, fan shrouds and heat sinks laying around. So I went ahead and bolted one of those on it or slid it right on, slid on without a problem, and then put new bearings both front and back side of here to make that be smoother. Slide the drive shaft in, and press it right in this blocker plate. 
walking in quite slides back in spot. I'm actually thinking about making a separate bracket in order to mount the Hobby Wing, this Max 10, um, from its mounting screws down to here. That's going to be it for a different day. What we're doing here to start with is just mounting up some double sided tape and sticking it on. I'm orienting it this way so that the plugs for the motor can go straight in here, uh, along with the uh, sensor cable will have plenty of reach and then the battery wires will be able to easily reach over here to the battery plugging the ESC into channel 2 making sure that it is oriented just like the other plugs in here so that it gets proper signal because the ESC does not have a separate uh, spare wire here to power the fan we're gonna actually need to use a short servo extension wire in order to get power back there so that that fan can then work motor and ESC are in now looking really really good please be aware as you put the sensor wire on you really need to make sure those are aligned appropriately and then like it shows in the instructions a B and C wire on the motors must match a B and C on the ESC otherwise everything will not work right we were able to plug the fan with an extension into the programming port on the ESC. We we're able to button everything up right here and we put the power plug right down there. For the power lead over here, we still need to solder on a new end, but we're gonna use a, we're gonna use this one. We're gonna use a small battery that we use for other functions that has XT60 on it just to get this powered up and make sure that everything works right before we go changing the lead out on it. One of the first things we need to do is actually calibrate the ESC to the controller. So we have the controller on. We are going to hold the set button while powering the vehicle on. Ooh, almost knocked you over. Okay, that beeping. Leave it in neutral. Hit the, th hit the button once, go to full throttle. Hit the button again, it gives me two beeps. Go to a full reverse. Hit the button again, it gives me three beeps. It reinitializes, and now we have a powered on ESC. What well, curious is, is forward, forward. Oh yeah, look at that. So forward is forward, and reverse is reverse, so we do not have to worry about programming that. The ESC actually has a whole host of programming methods that you can change. You can change brake force. You can change how fast it goes in reverse. You can change the punch. You can change drag brake. It even has in this motor in ESC, we even have turbo, we even have turbo timing. So if we really wanted to get wild with this thing, we could even due to that sensor have turbo. I'll be honest, I don't think we're gonna mess with it. We're just gonna go drive it and see what happens. We've got everything zip tied in, trying to take care of it there. And we got our XT90 plug on. It is looking really good. I don't know, James, what time is it now? It's time to drive it. Oh yeah, let's get the battery in and let's go. Check out the sensor, super duper slow driving. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> so the ultimate test drag race to the basketball all right modified typhon versus db pro all right logan call it we're gonna go on go two one go oh you got me <laughs> and you got me all on the start did you see that yeah because you have that censored setup in there so i hit the gas my motor cogged and didn't take off you just took off <laughs> yeah boom I am really impressed with how this Hobby Wing setup did in this Arma Typhon. The power, the accept the takeoff, right, with that censored motor, super smooth power delivery the whole way through it. I drove it, James drove it, we had an utter blast. If you are looking at changing the motor and ESC setup in your Arma 3S lineup, I really think this might be the best motor and ESC combo that you can get. I am 
already looking at how I can buy another one of these motor and ESC combos and maybe put it in my low CDV pro or put it in another vehicle. It is really, really, it is that good. I'm even wondering, you know, they made a max eight G2 same programming and same everything set up like this max 10 does like maybe that'd be really good in like a low C monster truck or something like that. So hobby wing kudos to you folks. You did a great job with this G2 lineup. I am, I am very excited about it. I hope this was useful for you. If you have any questions, questions about how I did it or what I did it, please feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Thank you and goodbye.